Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Maggie if you are new to my YouTube channel. I just got out of the shower as you guys can probably tell because I still have wet hair and I'm in my robe, but I just did the best shower of all time like the one where you shave exfoliate everything like all of that and I just lotioned up my body and I wanted to share my current favorite body products with you guys because I look forward to this. I do this like twice a week because you're not supposed to exfoliate your body that much. So I like to do this on Sundays usually and well today's Friday. I did it today because I'm going out to dinner tonight. But I like to do this like twice a week whenever I'm feeling like I need a little refresh or I need to shave. So I will shave my body, <laughs> my legs, whatever. And I use the Necessaire body wash, which is my favorite body wash. I have the fragrance free. This is a refillable bottle, but I have like the little um, squeeze one in my shower. So I use that. I love the eucalyptus and the fragrance free one. And then for my exfoliating routine, which these products are a little bit wet because I just use them in the shower, but these are my favorite, my go-to recently, and I am obsessed. I use the Aesop oil and the exfoliating scrub. This is the geranium leaf body scrub. So good, and I use some of the geranium leaf oil, and I put the scrub in my hand, and then add a few drops of oil, massage it together, and then I will exfoliate my whole body after I've shaved, and it just, makes your body so hydrated and silky smooth and then when i get out of the shower i use the necessaire body serum i'm obsessed with this product it has hyaluronic acid it just really hydrates your skin replenishes it plumps it it makes your skin feel so good after so i love doing that and then i will follow it with some moisturizer which i just use the jergens hydrating coconut right now I used this in high school. My friend B showed me this years and years and years ago, and I'm obsessed with it. So I brought this back. I just love a pump. I don't know why brands don't do more pump moisturizers because I'm such a pump girl rather than doing the types of moisturizers that like look like this and you have to unscrew the cap, put it in your hand, screw it back on. Like I'm such a pump girl. We need more pump options because that is what I love. So that is my little shower routine. I just did a little bit of moisturizer when I got out because I'm gonna put on some makeup tonight. My skin's been like, why does my skin look like this? Breaking out. Half of it's just like red marks, but some of them are like underneath the skin bumps and it's just very frustrating. I'm like, you know what? I usually have the best skin in the summer, and right now it's just acting up. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it's okay. It's life, and everyone deals with stuff like this. But whatever. I need to finish uploading and editing a vlog right now, but I wanted to show you guys, which I should have set this up earlier because I just took a shower, and this is for my shower. I got a new shower head by this brand, Jolie. And this is not sponsored at all. I actually saw this as an ad on TikTok and was like, wait, I actually have been needing a water filter because at one of my old apartments, I had a water filter and it made my hair just like so soft and it's so good for your skin, especially if you live in a city where you have like hard water. I know that in some places, like the water is just has more like minerals and sometimes like chemicals and just different things in it which i don't even know what's in the water in boston but all i know is that when i'm on the cape my hair is like super soft and my skin is better and it's not as dry i just feel very dry when i'm in boston and then when i leave and i take a shower i'm like wait this is like how it is supposed to feel so i got a water filter and i will let you guys know how i like it once i have used it for a while and I got it comes in different colors which is cool like you can get a black one a chrome one stainless steel white and I think I just got the stainless steel or chrome like whatever's like a shiny um silver that's what I got but I don't even know how to open this up right now I don't want to ruin my nails because I just got my nails done yesterday and I feel like I'm so hard with my nails that they end up like after 
two weeks like one of them breaks because I'm so hard with them and my nail technician always says your nails are art and I'm like okay yeah you're right because I use my nails for so much that they end up like getting all funky but this is the nails that I got I do the Apres gel X like gel extensions almond shape and I got this color by OPI, I think it's called Tokyo Pearl. That's what my nail lady said, it's called Tokyo Pearl, but I think it's called like Kyoto Pearl by OPI. And I did a like baby blue chrome over it, which you can't really tell, but it's like a little pearl essence. So yeah, I'm gonna go edit, finish editing and uploading this video. But I, talk, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I just opened up a PR package from Tarte which I was not expecting but I'm very excited because they sent over this face tape foundation and this is the shade light medium neutral I'm gonna try this out tonight it looks like it will match my skin usually I like to get the light medium neutral shade and then they also sent over two concealers which I'm gonna use bronzer this is some blush so I'm excited to do my makeup and play with these new products. Okay, you guys, this is the makeup look of the night. I'm going to get dinner with my brother, but um, the foundation, I actually am very impressed. It reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I did Tarte bronzer, eyeliner, and a little bit of blush but I will link all the products down below that I use and show you guys later because I have to go right now. But this is the makeup and then outfit. I'm just wearing a little Aritzia tank, some Levi's, and then this bag from By Far. And I'm gonna just do a pair of like thong, black, plain heels. guys I just got out of the shower and I put my new water filter in my shower and my skin I used it last night and I could already tell like a difference in my skin it just feels like so much softer and all of like any bumps I had have like gone down so I know that already yeah already from my water filter also I was on the phone right now but this is what the filter looks like it's really cute <laughs> it's just silver and i really like it so it's a subscription based also so they send a new filter like every three months or something which is really nice because if i'm like not getting a filter in the mail i'm gonna like forget to change it like the one that i had at my old apartment from amazon like you had to like buy separate filters i never did that so like i never changed the filter and i had it for like a year which I feel like kind of defeats the purpose, but it's nice that they like will send you them in the mail. And uh, yeah, so I'm just really happy about it. I can't wait to see like what my hair feels like after using the filter too, because it just helps so, so much having a filter on your shower. But I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare. This is the Interfuse Treatment Cream Face and Neck by Skin Better Science. I talk about Skin Better Science a lot. It's my favorite, one of my favorite skincare brands that I have ever used. I've been using it for like years. I think like three years now. And I just really love it. Also, it is a clean beauty brand. And the products are pricey, but they're so worth it in my opinion because I feel like my skin like barrier and just like my skin as a whole has not looked like this like ever before despite obviously like my breakouts but that has nothing to do with skincare this is like another factor um has nothing to do with this skincare so then I just got the Skin Better Science Refresh Moisturize Hydration Cream and I love this stuff it's so good I've never tried a moisturizer by them before and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it because I love their serums and this Interfuse treatment cream is so good. I'm going to put on the side right here like what it's used for and like the benefits of it because they have all of that information on their website, which is really nice. So that is that and I think this morning I'm just going to go... I need to get dressed and get 
a coffee and a bagel. Emma, I wish that you were here because we're, I'm going to like our favorite places that we used to always go to together. I think I'm gonna get a bagel from Coupels and then I'm gonna go to Blue Bottle for- Well, you could come to the cave. I know, um, but then I wanna go to Blue Bottle for coffee. What have you been getting at Blue Bottle? I just get a cold brew with half and half. Oh. Yeah. I love the cups that they come in though. I know. I feel like it's just satisfying. Also, I'm so excited because I haven't had a bagel from Coupels in like, I'm not kidding you, I think over a year. I know. Like I haven't been there in so long and I really wanna get like a sesame bagel with cream cheese and maybe like tomato. <laughs> I kind of want to go to the aloe store today too. Oh yeah, you should go. Life before TikTok, I feel like it was so different. You know? Like I just think about it now and like all the TikTok things are stuck in my head all the time and I'm like, what is going on? Like, it, TikTok has to be bad for our brains. I know. Like, I just don't remember ever sitting and scrolling on my phone as much as I do now. As much as I do now, I, I know I never scroll on my phone. I never scrolled. Like, I now. It, like, makes me feel sick. Like, I sit there and I just, like, scroll. And it's, like, sometimes I, like, won't get my fucking work done because I'm scrolling. I know. I know. And I'm, like, what? Like, I, like... I know I did that too and then I looked up and I'm like ew I need to put my phone down this is so weird guys I just got my bagel and I'm so excited I got it from Capel's and I always get questions actually in my DMs about the best bagels in Boston this is the, by far the best bagel place ever it's like not in the city it's in Brookline but it's still worth like the trip because they're so good and you can put anything you want in it i did a sesame bagel with chive cream cheese i added jalapenos tomato lettuce and yeah I just got home from the grocery store and I want to do a little grocery haul because I'm going to be cooking dinner tonight. I'm going to make a homemade pesto. So I got stuff for that and then I'm going to do a pasta with this homemade pasta right here and probably do peas and I wanted to do pancetta but they didn't have any at Whole Foods so I'm going to do chicken and I got a new air fryer. So I want to try that out tonight. Possibly to cook the chicken in because i know a recipe that i found on tiktok that makes like a really good juicy chicken so we're gonna cook that later but i want to show you guys what i got i didn't really get that much stuff i got stuff to make smoothies in the morning and also i'm gonna make a pasta salad which i think i'm gonna do today just to like get it out of the way and have it in the fridge so yeah this is everything that i got i got two bell peppers i did a yellow and an orange because in the pasta salad i already have cucumber which is a green vegetable obviously we have red onion and tomatoes so i kind of wanted to do like a rainbow pasta salad and then I got some of this eucalyptus Epsom salt, which is my favorite thing to take a bath with. I'm obsessed with it. I just get this one right here from Whole Foods. And then I got spinach for smoothies, pitted dates for smoothies also. And then I got a couple of these vintage cola Olipops because I have the poppy ones in the fridge. And I heard that these ones are better. So I'm gonna try and let you guys know how I like it. And then I got two packs of bacon, peas for the pasta tonight, and then cherries for smoothies. Got a thing of milk, powdered sugar, two things of these cookies, and then I got this pasta, um, just a fusilli for the pasta salad. And then I got this loaf of fresh brioche bread, which I wanna make a brioche French toast 
with that and then put a little bit of the powdered sugar on top. And then I got salt and vinegar chips, some feta for the pasta salad because I'm gonna do like an Italian dressing with feta, the veggies, the pasta. And it's gonna be really good. And then I got penne to have because um, it's just super easy. Pasta is like one of the easiest things to make and I don't have like any extra on me. So I got that. Strawberries, chicken, basil for the pesto and then some blueberries. And then I also got this yogurt right here, which I have been loving putting in smoothies. It's grass fed, organic, just plain yogurt. And yeah, I love this stuff. It makes your smoothies like very creamy. Okay, I have the water boiling. Well, I'm starting it right now. And I'm gonna cook up this fusilli pasta. And I just washed all the veggies I'm using. I'm gonna cut up half a red onion, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers, and um, cucumber. Okay, I cut up all the vegetables and the feta cheese. And I added it to one bowl while the pasta is gonna cool down because I don't wanna add the pasta to this yet because I feel like it'll melt the cheese since the pasta is still hot but I just made a homemade Italian dressing and I did a three-fourths cup of olive oil and then a fourth cup of red wine vinegar and then juice from one lemon and for spices I did one teaspoon of basil dried basil oregano salt and garlic powder and then a half teaspoon of onion powder pepper and red chili flakes and it makes the perfect Italian dressing. I just got a big cup of water. I ordered this Yeti off of Amazon and I've been obsessed with it lately and I need to start drinking more water. I literally will only drink out of a water bottle or a cup if it has a straw and I also ordered these silicone straws. So I just got some water and I'm gonna start reading my book because I drank way too much coffee today like too much caffeine. I can like barely even talk right now. My heart is like racing. So I wanna take a warm bath and just drink water and read and relax. Rinse off in the shower. I need to start using my gua sha more. I just did it before I got into the shower. I used some of my face wash to help it glide easier on my face. And I ordered a few things, like a few summer pieces from Revolve, which I was supposed to bring with me on a Revolve trip next week to the Dominican Republic, but I can't go anymore. But I did buy some stuff for the trip, which I'm gonna try on and show you guys because it's really cute. And honestly, I'm not gonna return any of it because I can just wear it when I go to the Cape. But yeah, I did want to talk to you guys about something that has like been on my mind today. I don't know if it's because I like drink way too much coffee and I have anxiety, but I just feel like I get into like a bad habit of looking at like old pictures and old videos and just stuff like that and I like don't even really know where I'm going with this but I guess I just wanted to talk about like how I've been feeling towards social media I just feel like I sometimes will like look back at old pictures or old videos and be like my skin looked better back then I was working out more and just like kind of compare myself to my past self which i feel like is such an unhealthy thing to do because the me that i'm comparing myself to in the past wasn't happy like i am now and that's just something that i've been dealing with because like i've been struggling with my skin for a few weeks now and i'll look back at videos like from last summer and like my skin will be glowing and my body was just like more toned and this summer i just feel like it's different like i just feel like <sighs> my skin's bad and i haven't been like working out as much as i used to and i've also been just like intuitively eating whatever i want like i cut out dairy for a really long time well for like a year and started eating dairy again like last spring spring of 2021 
and then I started eating meat again and I just feel like I mean if you've been watching my videos for a while I kind of went through just like a bunch of different phases of like what I ate and stuff like that and at one point in 2020 even though I stopped doing like food combining this thing that I did in 2019 where it was just like a little um trend I guess <laughs> but anyway I started eating like that in 2019 and then it messed up my hormones so bad that 2020 I started incorporating more like meat in my diet again and then I was getting my hormones checked out started eating like more balanced meals 2021 I started eating dairy again and it's just been like a journey for me and I feel like now finally I'm in the same point as I was before 2019 like before the food combining days where I was like really restrictive and I Never was restrictive before that I guess it was more of like I would eat something that I wanted and that my body was craving and then I would like feel bad about it after and I would feel like I had to work out and <laughs> now He wants attention. He keeps interrupting me, but now I just feel like I Don't wake up in the morning and like think I need to work out or like I can't eat that because I'm haven't worked out yet or like beat myself up over not working out and like eating what i want but also i feel like i have been like looking back at old pictures and stuff and like i said before just being like oh my god my skin looked better i looked more toned i feel like it's just like a never-ending cycle which i'm just like I definitely not not every day is like this but i did want to talk about it because i have been feeling like that today and i know a lot of you who are watching can maybe relate to what i'm saying hopefully um but if you can't relate honestly i'm very proud of you <laughs> but yeah that's just something that was on my mind right now that i wanted to talk about because i've just been thinking about it but i know that when i'm like old or like 50 years old i'm not gonna look back at pictures from my 20s and be like thinking of like how much I worked out and how good I look I'm just gonna be thinking about like how genuinely happy I was and like thinking about the memories and stuff but yeah social media definitely like makes it hard when it comes to like appearance and stuff which is like I don't know I've been doing it for four years now that like consistently for four years and sometimes I feel like I definitely like can get into like a little rut and even lately, I feel like I've just been in like a creative rut. And I don't know why. I feel like I've just been like enjoying life like off of social media. Because for, for the longest time, I was like showing so much of my life so consistently. Like every single day vlogging and posting so much on Instagram. And then now with TikTok, I just feel like there's so much content. It's almost like overconsumption. And I just feel like it overwhelms me. And... That's also another reason why, if you've been wondering why I haven't been posting as many vlogs as I normally do, I feel like I've just been like enjoying my life away from like social media right now. But I definitely want to change that and start posting more consistently again because I really miss it. And when I do vlog and when I do edit and when I post, like I love it and I love interacting with you guys. But yeah. That's just what's up and what I wanted to talk about. Okay, this is the first piece. This corset I've already shown in a past haul. It is from Revolve. I'll still link it if they have it available. But the skirt is just a maxi, silk maxi skirt from Bardot. I'm wearing a size medium and I love it because the waist is stretchy and it's so cute. I just paired it with this top because they're similar fabrics and they kind of match but they are not the same brand. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this together although it does look cute but I would do a more like casual top probably like a little tank or like a sweater or something okay yeah i wanted to show you guys a different type of top than that one this is a black crochet top that i got from realization par and i would probably wear it with this skirt a cute little pair of sneakers or even boots so yeah i'm obsessed with this i just love like the simplicity of it also i love that you can wear it so many different ways and then I also got these Vans, which Milo keeps chewing. 
and grabbing. So I'm going to put these back in the closet. But brand new black and white <laughs> checkered vans. Next is this really cute set from Free People. I'm covering my chest because it is see-through. I would definitely wear um, nippies with this. I'll link them down below. They're my favorite nipple covers in the world. They're so good. But yeah, the pants are a bit loose. I would definitely probably need to get them taken in. I definitely have to make a pile and bring them in because they are big on my waist, but I'm obsessed with this set. I'm wearing a size small and I love the back of the shirt because it ties in the back like that. But yeah, this is just so effortless and cute. And this next top is LPA. I got it in a size small and I probably could have got an extra small because it is a little bit big, but I just paired it for the try-on sake of the try-on with this skirt also from Revolve. It is Love Shack Fancy Eyelet Maxi Skirt, but this top is so cute. I love it paired with a maxi skirt like this. I probably would do it with like a black one, but yeah, anything that's like white and has like this fabric in the eyelet detailing, I feel like it's just super cute for summer. Okay, last but not least, I got this dress right here, which I can't try on because I need help taking it off, but it's just this sheer, gorgeous black lace dress and I'm so obsessed with it. I want to wear it like a black bra underneath and black underwear because you can completely see through but I love that look when you can like see your bra and underwear through like a lace dress. So this dress is absolutely stunning and I can't wait to wear it. Okay you guys that is everything that I got from Revolve. I also actually got a pair of yoga pants from strut this but they are in the dirty laundry i'll link them down below because i've been eyeing them for the longest time and they're finally back in stock and i'm really excited because they fit so well they're like a pair of flare yoga pants with like a tie and it like cinches your waist and they're really cute so yeah but anyway i'm gonna end off this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed if you're not already also follow me on instagram i always have it linked down below and i love you so much i will see you in my next vlog bye guys